Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics tracking using Google Tag Manager. So this assumes that you already have Google Tag Manager installed on your website. If you don't, I'll put a link in the description and you can uh, go ahead and see how to do that. But once we've got Tag Manager on our site, this is how we can actually enable our Google Analytics tracking script to start capturing data for us. So when we log into Google Tag Manager, you'll land on your accounts page. We'll need to choose the container for our website. So here I'm going to choose WP Smackdown. And then we're going to add a new tag. The first thing we'll do here is give our tag a name. This name is only for internal use, so you can name that whatever you'd like. Uh, nobody else will see that. It's just for your own organization purposes. We want to choose Google Analytics as our product. And then we definitely want to choose Universal Analytics as our tag type. Google is phasing out classic analytics, so if you haven't already switched over, make sure that you're choosing uh, Universal Analytics. Now we're going to be asked to configure our tag. So there's really only two main options for the most basic setup for Google Analytics. There's only two options we need here, is the tracking ID and the track type. We're going to leave the track type set to page view. That's what we want to track, is we want to track all of the page views. To get your tracking ID, if you don't have that handy already, you'll want to log into Google Analytics. You can go under your property settings for your website. And the first thing here should be tracking ID. So go ahead and copy that to your clipboard. And just come on back over and paste it in. I will show you another trick I'll link in the description. You can create what are called variables. So you can actually save your tracking ID in a variable so that whenever you add other tags, um, when you want to start doing click tracking and other things, you can use a variable instead of needing to uh, copy and paste your tracking ID every time. So I'll put a little link to that trick there. But for now, uh, simple implementation is just to put your tracking ID in this box. Leave that set to page view. And the last thing we need to do is tell Google Tag Manager when to fire the script. And since we want to track all page views that happen all across our site, we're going to simply fire it on all pages. And the final piece is to create the tag. Now you'll see my tag down here. I've got a few others um, already created. You can ignore those. But here's the new one we just created. It's going to fire on all pages. Now before we publish this and make it live, one of the great benefits of Google Tag Manager is we can preview things. So I'm going to click this drop down arrow and preview and debug. What this does is it puts us in preview mode. So as long as we stay in the same browser that Google Tag Manager is open in and we go over to our website, we should be able to see which tags are going to fire and which are not going to fire. So here I pull up my website in the same browser. I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page. And you'll see this box pop up here down at the bottom. This is, you're only going to see this when you're in preview mode. But this tells us which tags have fired on the page and which tags have not fired on the page. And as we can see, Google Analytics tracking script fired one time. So that's perfect. That's just what we were looking for. That means we installed the tracking code correctly. Once you've confirmed that, the last step is just to click publish. It'll give you one final overview of the different tags that have changed. And once you give this one final click on Publish Now, then your Google Analytics tracking will be added to your website. The only other thing that I'll say is to log into your Google Analytics account um, in a couple of hours or in the next day just to make sure that the traffic is being added in there. Um, everything should be set up properly once you've confirmed that that Tag Manager script is, fi is firing. But just to be on the, the safe side, you'll want to log into Google Analytics and make sure that some data is being pulled into there as well. If you guys have any questions about setting this up, please let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching.